For us at Wrexham Football Club, we're always looking for, for young talent. Uh, we've got a great scholarship programme. Uh, we've also got a, an academy, Glinda Wrexham Football Academy, and uh, it's the second year running now we've been here. Uh, last year, uh, in terms of getting players who've been released, uh, we've actually got one into the first team, which obviously uh, is a great success for us. We, we took in, I think, about 16 players. Uh, we have had one who's made his debut, a boy called Corey Roper, who was released from Leeds. Uh, he's made three or four appearances for us, and we've had a number of other uh, lads who've been in and around uh, the, the first team and on the bench. Uh, that coupled with doing a degree as well, it gives them a second opportunity in football. And obviously, if they're not successful in football, then they can uh, they can get a decent job at the end of it. Not everyone's going to be a footballer. Not everyone's going to make enough money that at 35 they're never going to have to work again. And obviously, we're looking at these boys uh, last year and and obviously tonight and the last couple of nights, and they've all been released from clubs for a reason. You know, it might be that they're physically not not big enough, some tactically not good enough. We're saying to them, listen, you can come in to Glendu Wrexham Football Academy. You can have another three or four years contract, you can have a couple of years development and who knows, you know, a lot of players go out of the game at 18, 19 and then they tend to come back into the game at 21, 22. We're saying that don't miss your development years out, come to us, obviously progress, get better tactically, physically you'll develop as well and academically you'll, you'll, you'll certainly get a degree at the end of it. They let go from clubs for different reasons. You know, sometimes it's just financial that clubs can't keep them on. And uh, and obviously, as I say, a prime example is is the boy that we took last year, Corey from from Leeds United. He'd been at Leeds from eight to eighteen, gets released. Wrexham Football Club now are getting the benefit of Leeds' effort and time of putting in technically every single day, coaching him. And uh, and obviously, you know, he's got into our first team, and we're looking for him certainly next year to to establish himself in the first team. I believe, technically, that he could go and play in the Championship, not a problem. Physically, not at the moment he couldn't. In another 12, 18 months, then I think that we'll have a player on our hands. And obviously, you know, for us, coming to the exit trials again tonight, we're hoping that we can spot at least one other Corey Roper. Wrexham Football Club's well known. We've got 150 year history. We've got the oldest stadium in the world. You know, we've got a fantastic training ground. And I think if anyone does come down to, to see our facilities, you know, especially with the, the university as well, you'll see that they are more or less championship facilities and people turn up at the training ground and they think, well, this is where I want to be. And, you know, I say everything's geared there for them. We've got, in terms of resources, in, you know, with the university, the fitness, the strength and conditioning, the analysis, everything's geared for the boys to develop, you know, and, and we just hope that they choose us in front of others you know and hopefully you know once they do that they'll see that two or three have been in and around the first team this year and if they work hard enough they'll have an opportunity that's all we're going to do is give them an opportunity we can't guarantee any but any player like in any game in any club we can't guarantee that they're going to get in the first team but they will have an opportunity if good enough